Cannabis has been used for, for healing purposes for centuries. And, um, you know, and I, I, I was interested, so I did some research. <laughs> and it goes back to the Egyptians and the Chinese, the Indians and the Greeks. Um, so it's been around for a very long time. But is the way it is currently used or consumed today, is, is that driving the strong opposition to its legalization? Yeah, so the, so cannabis has been used for thousands of years for all different conditions. And mm. the problem in the United States is that they have classified it a Schedule One drug, which means that there's not enough information to say that it has medical benefit and that it has a high uh, potential for addiction. However, that's really not true. Most of that has to do with the political climate, the, you know, financial incentives. And, and so, you know, there's a lot of hype around cannabis, but until it's descheduled, no longer made a Schedule One drug, then there's all these restrictions around it. So now there's 35 states that have legalized it for medical reasons, and each state has its own list of medical reasons that would qualify someone to actually get a medical marijuana card. But again, it's still federally illegal. And the, the biggest issue with that is if you're getting drug tested and you're positive mm -hmm. for THC, you can still lose your job. You know, there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of, of issues because it's a Schedule One drug, and that's what we're, we're trying to do is educate people and, and produce more evidence so that we can deschedule the, the plant. Mm. Now, <clears throat> I have a quick question here. Um, um, does CBD, um, does, that, does that rate as a, um, a, a Level One drug as cannabis right. does? does yeah, that... so... so... The thing is that there's, you can derive CBD from hemp or from cannabis. Right. And so the legal limit in the United States for CBD from hemp is that it has to still have less than 0.3% THC. Now, if you, um, if you are thinking about an actual pharmaceutical CBD like Epidiolex, that's for infantile seizures, that's mm. a Schedule 5. But that's only a CBD drug that has to be indicated for children with Dravet syndrome. And so what's going to happen over time is there'll be more pharmaceuticals that are cannabis-based that are approved, but for a very specific indication, like, you know, nausea and vomiting from chemotherapy. It's not just going to say, well, for chronic pain, use this. It's going to be a very, an evidence-based, you know, research comes out. Maybe you mm -hmm. have uh, muscle spasms from multiple sclerosis. And so CBD alone from hemp is legal as long as it has less than 0.3% THC and it's been lab tested. However, if you have one specific indication, then yes, there is one CBD, but that's, again, only for infantile.